Hello, my name is Sydney. In today's video, I'm going to go over the different types of medical school interviews, as well as some virtual changes that may accompany this year's cycle. My next two videos will go over my tips and preparation routine, and my next, next, next video will be what I wore. If you'd like to be notified of those upcoming uploads, please consider subscribing to stay tuned. Timestamps of each specific section will be included in the description below. Without further ado, let's begin. After schools receive your primary application, secondary application, letters of rec, CASPER score if they require it, they would send you an interview invite if they'd like to know more about you. Interview invitations can be sent as early as August until as late as I'd say the first two months of the next year. Interviews can be conducted as early as August up until early March. From my experience, once invited, I would have maybe two to three select dates to choose from each month, which usually fell on Thursdays or Mondays. Days, which is something to be mindful of to plan travel with school and work. Decision notices vary amongst schools. Some schools will tell you when you can expect to hear back, while other schools will not. It can range from as soon as days to weeks up until months. My quickest admission decision was five days and my longest admission decision was one month. Typically, students will know their admission status between the months of October to December. And I've heard of this thing called the turkey rule, meaning your cycle is promising if you you positively heard back from schools by Thanksgiving. But with COVID, all timelines are pretty delayed this year. There is a slight lull of communication from late November into December due to the holidays, but interviews do resume starting January through February. Some schools operate on a rolling basis, meaning sooner interviews are more favorable because you have a higher chance of securing a class spot since they're more available earlier in the cycle. But conversely, some other schools reserve a percentage of accepted slots per interview date. So being earlier doesn't necessarily matter as much for these schools. On AMCAS, there's a relatively new feature called the Choose Your Medical School tool. Based on my 2019-2020 cycle, by April 15th, I could hold on to no more than three acceptances. By April 30th, I could hold on to no more than one acceptance. On this day, I would indicate either I was planning to enroll or committing to enroll in that one program. This basically means that I've withdrawn my applications from all other schools. This allows for there to be waitlist mobility for other applicants. For the 2020-2021 cycle, those respective dates are April 30th for three acceptances and May 15th for one acceptance. And this is the same journal idea, but be sure to check dates specific to the year you are applying to medical school. I'm going to go over the traditional, group, MMI, and the hybrid type of interviews. These will be mostly told from my experience and from a quick Google search, so please be sure to also do your research to supplement your preparation. The traditional interview is usually a one-to-one -one interview with a faculty member, a current medical student, or a practicing physician. It can range from 30 to 45 minutes, and you may have two to three rounds with different interviewers. These interviews can be open, semi-open or closed file. Open means the interviewer has access to your medical school application and may ask any questions about the items that you've listed. Semi-open means the interviewer only has access to select parts of your application, such as your personal statement, work and activities, etc. Closed means the interviewer does not have access to any part of your application. So Adcom has screened your application and they see that you may be a good fit and would like to know more about you. The job of the interviewer is to conversate with you to see if you fit the school's mission and honestly, if you're a pleasant person to talk with and work with. I'd say traditional interviews are more casual and focuses more on getting to know you as a person, what you're passionate about, and whether you embody the school's competencies. It's easy to get into the mindset of overthinking your answers and wanting to say the perfect thing, but if you're yourself, know your application well, and come prepared to answer general questions like, tell me about yourself, why medicine, name a time that you worked in a team, what did you learn from a failure, then you'll do great. The group interview is similar to the traditional style interview, except there may be two or more other interviewees answering questions alongside you. I didn't attend any group interviews, but from what I've read, the goal of group interviews is to access your critical thinking skills, your group communication, and your teamwork ethic. 
basically how well you work with others since medicine is a very collaborative field. In addition to trying to answer questions uniquely, I recommend in this group setting to be kind, attentive, inclusive, or mindful of others, but especially true to yourself. It's easy to get caught up in comparisons and wanting to outshine everyone, but just breathe, remember your why, and enjoy the moment. The multiple mini interview or the MMI is sort of the speed dating type of interview where you'll have six to ten stations focused on answering a specific question ranging from ethical dilemmas, role play scenarios, and or traditional style questions. Typically you'll be presented with a written vignette given a couple minutes like one to two to formulate your response and approximately five to eight minutes to enter a room with the interviewer to answer the question. He or she may not ask you any follow-up questions but your goal is to keep the conversation going. Usually this interview is closed file and focused primarily on accessing your knowledge of the healthcare system, ethical decision-making process, and interpersonal skills. Some may say it's difficult to get personal with this style of interview, but I'd say the best way to counteract that is to always answer with stories that showcase your familiarity or experience with that presented scenario. The hybrid style of interview is a combination of any of the previous interviews mentioned. From my experience, I completed one hybrid interview that consisted of a traditional interview with a faculty member followed by a mini MMI with the practicing physician and community member. In the midst of this pandemic, the 2020-2021 application cycle will be conducted virtually. I'm an avid fan of Jeannie Mai. I'll link a recent vid of hers on how to best carry yourself for the virtual interview. She talks about setting up your environment, how to dress, and what mindset to have. Her video wasn't tailored to medical school, but she lays down great general tips on how to place your best foot forward. In addition to interviews being conducted virtually, the AAMC has also implemented VITA. VITA is a one-time unidirectional interview in which you record your responses to six questions that are presented in text. You will get one minute to read the question and three minutes to record your video and audio response. There is no human interviewer. According to the AAMC, the VITA has been created specific for applicants during the 2020-2021 application cycle to further assess these competencies, social skills, cultural competence, teamwork, reliability and dependability, resilience and adaptability. You may complete all six questions in one sitting or you may complete any number of questions you choose as long as all questions are completed by the medical school deadline. The break between the questions may be as long as you choose. VITA is similar to CASPER in that once you complete VITA for one school, your VITA responses will be sent out to all other schools that would like to interview you. There are a lot of moving parts to this cycle, so I've linked all the information I've read in the description below. That concludes everything I wanted to talk about in today's video. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. As always, thank you so so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!